Hi, I'm Scott Hanselman. I've done a number of Windows 8 and now Windows 10 videos and I would encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and take a look at some of the videos. This video is about the out-of-the-box experience that you get with Windows 10. So you've just upgraded. What do you see? And what are a few small customizations that you can make to uh, make your experience a little bit nicer? So we're just going to hit the start menu here and these are the default icons that you'll see when you start out and you'll notice that when I move the mouse over my start menu that I've got a scroll here so I can use the scrolly on my mouse I can use my finger with my touch screen or I can use two fingers on the touch pad but note that I can put the mouse see there see the splitter it's called a splitter or a resizer. I can grab that and I'm going to drag it out to the right. See how I can make it three columns wide? So you can make that not only wider, but also taller and shorter. So I would encourage you to think about how you want to lay that out. Each of these you can resize. So I can right click, say resize, and say large, for example. Here I'm making Xbox large you can make uh, new, uh, news or whatever you want to do you can also make them very 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 small grab those I can also take existing icons right click pin to start there's word I can put it over here that is medium I can make that small as well so you can make this however you want you can click up in here and change those as well as grab entire sections and resize them. Okay, So you can really make the start menu your own. And these are the defaults. You'll notice here, of course, that Solitaire is there as well. A lot of people freak out because they wonder if Solitaire is going to be gone. You actually get a very, very nice version of Solitaire. And you can go to the Windows Store and get other stuff as well. One other thing to point out is that you see on the left here, you've got File Explorer, Settings, all apps. If you click all apps, that gives you this list. And then if you click on one of the letters, you get the alphabet and then you can jump like that. Or of course you can just start typing. I could say calc. Maybe I want to keep that somewhere. I can pin it to the start and if I want pin it to the taskbar. Okay. Now these icons down here, let's click on settings and see if we can change some of those. I'm going to change the start menu. So I'm just going to type in start here. And I'm going to click on choose what folders appear on start. Okay. So you see here we've got file explorer settings and power. I personally think that you should turn on documents and downloads, perhaps network and personal folder, and then close that, go to the start menu and look at that. So now you can go straight to your downloads, straight to your documents, or you know straight to your network very very quickly. So that is a modification that I've made that I that I personally like. Now if you don't want the start menu, you want the start screen, go ahead and type start screen. You see it says use start full screen. You click on that. And now you've got a full screen start menu. Again, resizable however you like. This is also what tablet mode looks like. And you'll notice that large icons become even larger. Turn that off. Goes back to the start menu. Now, one other thing to point out, this background you can right click on and you can say something like personalize. There are themes available. Now, this is still in the older Windows 8 uh, control panel. But you can go up and say, uh, go ahead and Google or Google with Bing or click on get more themes online and download themes. So here I've got the best of Bing themes. All right. I can right click on those now and say next desktop background. Now you notice though that my start menu is still black. We're going to change that. Let's go ahead and hit type in color. Say choose your accent color. Notice how I'm getting to my settings just by typing search. Works really nicely. Here I'm going to say automatically pick an accent color for my background. Now I can choose different colors if I like, but I'm going to say automatically pick an accent color. And I'm also going to say show color on the start menu. OK, 
Okay, so here you'll notice that the task bar and the start menu are changing color. I can have it look at the background and pick a color that is a nice color. So here it picked uh, a kind of a brown. If I go and right click and say new next desktop background, here it picked a blue. So it'll pick a color from your wallpaper background. I think that's a nice touch. Now, all of your icons that you had when you upgraded from Windows 7 or Windows 8 will still be there. But I've put this uh, right, you know, back to the out of the box experience in order to show you how to get those desktop icons back. See, it says here, show or hide common icons on the desktop. And I just typed in desktop icons. If you have a question with Windows, you just type in what you want. So I'm going to put back computer and users files and hit OK. And now I've got this PC and my files back where they where they were. One other thing worth pointing out is you can go here to settings. So I'm going start, settings, and some of these settings that you change all the time, well you can actually right click on those, see, and you can pin them to the start. So for example, I like to have update pinned to the start, see? Or maybe you want personalization pinned to the start as well. So now I can click update and it'll automatically go and grab whatever updates that I need to get. See, it's downloading updates right now. Things worth uh, pointing out, you can right click on the taskbar and you see this search the web here. Well, if you don't want to show the whole box, you can just change it to show an icon. Now that's shrunk to an icon. The box is still there, but it's got to click on it first. That gives you a little bit more space if you prefer that. I like the box. It's up to you to decide. And then you'll notice also here when I click for the first time, it's going to say, well, I need to use your location. Is that okay? Yes, it is. You know, what's your name? Basics like that. And then it starts giving me news and things that are specific to me. How tall is Oprah? I didn't realize he was that short. Hmm. So that is kind of the Windows 10 out of the box experience. Remember, you can always go to all apps, find the apps that you want to pin. Doesn't matter whether they are store apps or not store apps. Right click, pin to start, pin to taskbar. And then, of course, be sure to visit the store and download other apps and games and then pin those. Last thing, you can pick up a tile, like here I'm picking up mail, and I'm going to drag it out of the start menu and onto the desktop. So here I've got a link to my mail app and a link to my Xbox app. So they can be on the desktop, they can be in the start menu, they can be on the taskbar. So you've got a lot of different choices. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, please do share it and point people to the playlist that I have here on my YouTube and do subscribe. And feel free in the comments to suggest other Windows 10 videos that you'd like to see. Thanks a lot.